Hi everyone, welcome to another video of Sunday Morning Drives. Today I'm taking my GT3 to participate in a weekend drive organized by Motorshare. Motorshare is a company that has a fleet of sports cars. Customers can subscribe to their membership and depending on the type of membership that you have, you can take out these cars and enjoy them on different number of days per year. It's actually a very good way to experience the ownership of these type of sports cars without having to spend a huge amount of money of buying them outright. Today is an experience day where customers can come along and drive all the cars in the Motorshare fleet and basically just enjoying a nice cruisy weekend and socialize with the other customers and founders of Motorshare. There is a very rare Ferrari F430 Spider manual that's coming along on the drive as well. Currently there are seven cars in the Motorshare fleet. There is a 991.1 911 Carrera S, a very nice looking AMG GT, an Austin Martin DB9. This is a really nice cruiser with a V12 engine under the bonnet. A first generation Audi R8 V10. This car sounds amazing. A R35 Nissan GTR. This car is fairly new to the lineup. A 981 GT4 from Porsche and a 981 Boxster. After a nice morning run through the east coast of Auckland, we are now taking a break, parked up and have a cup of coffee and have a quick chat. I will take this opportunity to show you some of the cars up and close. Let's get inside the DB9 first. The interior of this DB9 is very well kept. You can smell the scent of leather straight away when you get inside the car. All the seating controls are on the left hand side of the seat. It's quite unique of the Aston Martin brand. On the center console, there's a lot of buttons and a nice analog clock. On the top, there is a place to put your key and the drive select buttons. Down here is something really, really quirky. Guess what? This is a pen. It looks like a weapon that 007 would use to kill someone. Uh, it's a very quirky feature that I have never seen in any car before. Overall, this is a very luxurious and comfortable cabin to be in. There is a button on the back of the seat you can press to move the seat forward. Everything's covered in leather at the back as well, but there are not much room at the back though. Probably only enough room for small kids. This is probably a very nice cruiser instead of a sports car. It's more of a GT car setting. Looks amazing though, uh, the proportion is great and it's just a very beautiful car overall. Let's now jump into the RA V10. I actually quite like the simple design, the minimalistic design from this first generation R8. There are no fancy screens or countless buttons to distract you from driving. And I really like this metal gear lever, although it's not a manual, but it still feels so tactile and the clicking sound is just amazing. There is a sport button you can press. This is the only mode you have. So again, very, very simple. I like that. And there is a small storage space and a couple of cup holders on the center console area. I've always thought that the first generation R8 has aged really well. The design, the quality, and the whole vibe of the car, even with today's standards, still looks very, very incredible. 
This is the AMG GT. This is the first time I've ever jumped into a AMG GT before. The quality is typical of Mercedes. Uh, feels very luxurious and the quality is very, very good. I actually like this generation more than the new. Uh, the interior is simpler and I love these air vents and these two rows of buttons on either side of the center console. There is a drive mode selector and all the drive controls that's related to your driving needs are at your fingertips. The curved shape and the silver color also make the whole thing look very futuristic. Let's open the boot lid and see what's at the back of the car. I'm actually surprised how big the boot space is. Uh, just shows how practical this car is. No wonder a lot of people use this car as a daily. There is also a netting between the boot space and the seating area, so nothing falls out when you brake. There is also a cover that you can pull out to cover up your belongings so people don't see them from the rear glass. This car has a twin turbo V8. It's pretty much a front mid-engine car. And I love the long nose that is the trademark of the GT and the SLS. It's been a great day driving with the Motorshare people. Uh, it's really nice speaking with some of the customers and also the founders of Motorshare. Most of them are car enthusiasts that just love driving and love to admire and appreciate these sports cars. So Motorshare is actually giving them a nice platform for them to experience these sports cars without big costs. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and some of the nice driving and car footages of some of these amazing sports cars. Hope to see you again in our next video.